Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. There is no joy in Mudville today. And I think the mighty Patriots struck out. All credit to the beautiful Giants team for their fine effort and stuff. But it was the Patriots game to lose and they lost. Uh, <clears throat> gold trading about 17.12, down about 2% since Friday. We're looking at gold to trade in this range between 1630 and 1740 or 50. We do think you should hold on to those incremental increases you made in your gold positions. We don't try to pick tops and bottoms, so we've been encouraging you. You should have picked up between 10 and 20 percent more of gold uh, to supplement your already strong positions over the last two weeks. Uh, we're encouraging you to hold. Um, because gold is not really a day trading item. Like the euro, as we cautioned last week, a lot of people got stung last month, and the euro's a uh, uh, little bounce. Uh, we don't think the euro is a three-day trade. We think the euro is in a long-term downtrend, and with that view in mind, it can be a very, very profitable trade. Now, a repurchase agreement is where a bank gives collateral to a money manager or an investor in return for immediate cash. The repo market, and God help us all, the reverse repo market, uh, were huge factors in the financial crash in 2008. We are now exceeding the levels of repos in 2008. Fitch says that the quality of these repos is declining. Does this sound familiar to anybody? About 50% uh, of the repos are backed by subprime mortgages. Now, in some areas, we like pools of money with subprime mortgages, but this is not one of them. Uh, so, uh, as I said, repos at the 2008 level and subprime is providing about 50% of the loans. Uh, Fitch is quite concerned about this decline. In addition, 20% of the collateral is in the legendary structured investment vehicles, or SIVs, who were, <laughs> were discovered to be uh, uh, exactly that. So you've got two issues here in the major financial area. One is that the amount of repos has grown and the quality of the underlying credits has declined. Does this sound like 2008 over again? And all you're getting in return for having 20% of this portfolio in SIVs is 50 basis points. So, again, structurally not wise thinking. We don't think the world's going to end. We don't think the European crisis is going to kill the Chinese economy. We don't think any of that stuff. But we do believe that going forward, the financial institutions of the world need to be extraordinarily careful, uh, particularly with the dangers in Europe. We're sticking with our gold forecast of 2450 by the end of the year, and I'm sticking with my forecast of S&P 980. Have a great day. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Thanks.